Hi. Let me tell you about another great Manning book. C++ Concurrency in Action, 2nd Edition, by Anthony Williams. This chapter delves into concurrency in C++, discussing its importance, history, and support in the C++ standards. Concurrency, or the simultaneous execution of multiple activities, is a natural part of life and computer systems. With the rise of hardware concurrency, computers can genuinely run multiple tasks in parallel, improving performance and responsiveness. Concurrency can be approached through multiple single-threaded processes or multiple threads in a single process. While multiple processes offer protection and easier concurrent code writing, multiple threads provide easier communication and resource sharing. This book focuses on using multi-threading for concurrency in C++. Concurrency and parallelism are related concepts in multi-threaded code. With parallelism focusing on performance, concurrency is used in applications to separate concerns and improve performance, making code simpler and more responsive. Multi-core computers require software designed to run multiple tasks concurrently either through task parallelism or data parallelism. However, it's crucial to know when not to use concurrency, as multi-threaded code can be harder to understand and maintain, and may lead to more bugs. Concurrency should be used only for performance-critical parts of the application, with potential for measurable gain. C++ now supports multi-threading through the standard C++ thread library since the C++11 standard eliminating the need for platform-specific extensions. The C++11 standard introduced a thread-aware memory model and extended the C++ standard library to include classes for managing threads, protecting shared data, synchronizing operations between threads, and low-level atomic operations. C++14 and C++17 added further enhancements, making writing multi-threaded code simpler. The C++ thread library is designed for efficiency and provides low-level facilities for high-performance computing. It offers atomic operations for direct control over individual bits and bytes, making code more portable and easier to maintain. In rare cases where the library does not provide the required performance or behavior, platform-specific facilities may be necessary. To begin with multi-threaded C++ programming, a C++11, C++14, or C++17 compiler is needed. Programs will have variables, classes, and functions like any other C++ program, but some functions will run concurrently, requiring careful management of shared data and specific functions and objects to manage different threads. Observe how effortless it can be to employ the classes and functions provided by the C++ standard library. In C++, Using multiple threads isn't complicated in and of itself. The complexity lies in designing the code so that it behaves as intended. Get this book at manning.com.